Video games inspire wonder at the concepts, locations, and characters they contain. Their complexity can be daunting, and they might cause confusion when a story says one thing now and another later. I'm Justin Newham. Let's ask some questions. The Dunmer of Morrowind have a long and complicated history with the Daedra of Oblivion. Their relationship with the Daedra is unique among the races of Tamriel, and their classifications of good and bad Daedra are at the heart of this relationship. So what are good or bad Daedra? Let's begin by looking at the history of the Dunmer back when they were known as the Khmer. The Khmer were known for their belief that the Daedra were more worthy of worship than the Aedra. The Aedra are the divine beings that assisted in the creation of Nern, and are considered the ancestors of the Altmer. The Khmer reasoned that the Daedra were more powerful because they refused to give of their essence to create Nern, which was a view the Altmer deemed heresy. In order to escape persecution, they left in mass to the far north and settled in the area of modern Morrowind. They had relative freedom of worship until the events of the War of Red Mountain, which led to the death of the Khmer King Nerevar and the ascendance of the Tribunal, Vivek, Almalexia, and Sothasil. At this point, the Khmer were cursed by Azura and became the Dunmer, while the new gods of the Tribunal changed the official religion of Morrowind by claiming to be themselves greater than the Daedra. This continued until the events of the Elder Scrolls III Morrowind, when the Tribunal lost their godhood. At this time, Almalexia and Sothasil were killed, and Vivek just vanished. From then until the most recent lore, the official religion of Morrowind has reverted back to Daedra worship. The good Daedra are listed as Azura, Boethia, and Mephala. These three, although primarily Boethia, are credited with leading the Khmer away from the Altmer and teaching them the skills and truths they needed to survive away from Somerset, and how to be different from the Altmer. Their natures of prophecy, betrayal, and secrets are seen as the foundations of Khmer culture and were mostly carried forward with the arrival of the Tribunal. The Daedra were usurped by the members of the Tribunal through the claim that the Daedra were merely anticipations of the Tribunal. Azura did not appreciate this claim, and she cursed the Khmer to have the physical traits that they are now known for, and prophesied that the Tribunal would one day fall to the reincarnation of King Nerevar. After this prophecy happened, the new Temple Order took over as the dominant religious faction and instituted the Tribunal as saints, but still lesser beings than the Daedra. One aspect of this history remains shrouded in mystery because the Khmer and then Dunmer people have changed their view of the so-called Bad Daedra over time. Initially, there was little difference made between the Daedra except for specific honor going to Boethia, Azura, and Mephala for their role in the Khmer Exodus to Morrowind. The rest of the Daedra were still worshipped at that time by the Khmer and were not considered lesser or different than the main three. This all changed with the rise of the Tribunal, and the branding of four previously worshipped Daedra as the Bad Daedra, or the House of Troubles. Molech Bal, Merun's Dagon, Malakath, and Sheogarath were considered by the Tribunal to be Daedra that specifically served the role of testing and tormenting the Dunmer. These Daedra were not pleased with this change in worship, but were more than happy to show their displeasure by doing just such testing and tormenting. This led to their classification remaining in place after the fall of the Tribunal and rise of the New Temple, since for so long now these Daedra have made a specific point of opposing the Dunmer. So the difference between the Daedra considered good and those deemed bad is a cultural one derived from the shifting of powers within Khmer and then Dunmer religion. For most other races of Tamriel, these monikers would likely be unused as most races either see the Daedra as all bad or as mostly neutral with a few being particularly evil. How any given individual, even among the Dunmer, sees the Daedra will ultimately come down to their personal experience with them, much as the Dunmer as a people have come to these definitions through their experiences with the Daedra. Yo! Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and leave a comment so I know you want more videos like this. 
If you want to know when new uploads arrive, subscribe and hit the bell icon to have YouTube send you a notification. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.